What is up, guys? <laughs> Team Andy 291 here, and welcome to Dead Zone. Brand new series where I am basically dedicating this all to the games of the past console generation. Now then, what does that mean? Well, basically, any console that exists um, prior to our current generation of consoles, that would be the Wii U, Xbox One, and PS4, is up for grabs, gameplay-wise and such. So that means, basically, Wii and below, Xbox 360 and below, and PS3 and below. Anything that was released prior to that is allowed to be played. Now then, I only limit myself to 15 minutes of gameplay. And of course, I give my personal thoughts on the game, as well as a little bit of history, and um, maybe a little bit of bonus facts on the idea. And then, at the very end of the video, you guys can decide on whether or not I continue with the current game, or if I should play a new game from my collection, in which case you leave your answer to which down below in the comments section. And it's all up to you, however, if nobody votes, then it comes down to me. So... With all of that said and done, our first game is Star Fox Adventure. Now then, you might be wondering, why in the world would you pick this game, of all things? In which case, mainly, eh, there's many different reasons in order to try to pick Star Fox Adventure, mainly because it's unique uh, among the Star Fox franchise. It's one of two games that has not been developed by Nintendo. It is still licensed by them, however. However, it was actually developed by Rare, the same guys who made Conker's Bad Fur Day, as well as, uh, you know, Banjo-Kazooie, that kind of good stuff. They're normally known for making collectathon based games. However, they decided in order at one point in order to make a title known as Dinosaur Planet. However, it was later revealed that Dinosaur Planet was actually going to be this Star Fox game. So, many of these Star Fox purists, which are people who defend the original on-rail shooter um, style, basically started saying, oh, it's just Legend of Zelda with Star Fox thrown on it. It's not going to be good at all. And so many just threw it under the bus right then and there. And then, of course, um, many others still decided to go ahead and try to grab it, and then still called it a crap game. Do I think it is a crap game? It's one of those things where there are some things that are done good, and there are some things that were executed so poorly that they just needed to be showcased in an entire JonTron episode, as well as also an episode of Really Freaking Clever. Um, if you guys don't know who those are, where have you fucking been on the internet, people? Anyways, uh, as you can tell, I kind of curse a whole bunch. So, content warning is advised. This is going to be mature as heck, even though, you know, this game is titled T for Teen, so if you're 13 or up, you should be pretty good. Uh, just note that you're going to be in the ride for some weird, crazy, craptastic shit. Uh, anyways, other bit of history on the game, uh, like my personal history with it, is that this is technically the first Star Fox game I ever played, but I can explain on that that I grew up with many different game consoles as a kid, mainly with Nintendo, that's kind of where my preference is, in case you haven't told on the channel, that's where my preference comes from. However, I never got a chance in order to play the original Star Fox or uh, Star Fox 64 until much later in my life. However, um, one of my family members had this on the GameCube, and I would mess around on the GameCube every once in a while, and this was the game that I got to play on there when I was younger. Of course, I wasn't any good at it because, well, I was a kid. But, of course, I later found it uh, at a store called Pink Gorilla, which sells tons of retro games, which is sort of where the inspiration of this series came from. I spent 14 bucks on it because I remembered it from a kid, and I never regretted my purchase, and this game has also helped me along the lines with discovering myself as a furry, as well as also, you know, developing my own persona and realizing that, well, I was a fox. Persona. So, I do have some personal preference bias to the game. However, I'm hoping that I don't show any of my bias while going through it. I'm hoping to do a fair, nice amount of gameplay with my own genuine reaction. I haven't played it in over a year, 
So I have no idea what the heck I'm walking into. All that I do remember is that I ended up getting near the end and got stuck like nobody's business and I've been super pissed off about it. So without further ado, let's move on to the gameplay. Alrighty. So then, now we're about to begin the game. So, we got a timer. Fifteen minutes on the clock. Alrighty. Game, yes, all right. Okay, so then we have one empty slot, and we all just title this Vid. All righty. And with that, we begin. From the depths of space, a girl named Crystal searches for the truth of her parents' death. Finding herself within a lost corner of the Lilac system, she receives a distress call from a world known as Dinosaur Planet. I cannot read fast enough, so let's just get on with the cutscene and gameplay then. <laughs> Oof, okay then. One second, need to dive off the camera. Alrighty. Sorry about that. But yeah, no. So, staff's lost. We have giant freaking demon ship. Interesting. Alrighty. Yeah, I do remember this from my previous place. So, let's begin. demonic dragon trying to kill us. Great. <laughs> Alright, nice and quick. Adventure begins. Yep, know how to play a video game. Page around here somewhere. I don't know. 
of where it is. Oh, it's Here we go. Passage. Not in front of us, but behind us. That's not good. Hello, ugly. Scales. Hiku. Kohud. Otaskuki. If dinosaur planet. Ud nil kalaju. Ui kimo nekt. Am dead kutsuho kekori oi. Am edko kutsuho rosvejo evu tashkov suk. Ha ha ha. suk? Kiash niko kuduk. Ash at General Scales. Ah, and a dick. Ah, okay. General Hmm. Now, that's a language you could try to learn, but I would recommend it. Oh god, that guy's speaking voice is so bad. Oh god. Yeah, so one of the more important things you have to remember is to save your game as much as possible. Yeah, I mean, granted this is by far not a difficult game. But it's one of those, uh, what the Fs. Zoa Palace, it's not safe for you here. If you find yourself in danger, press X to roll out of the way. Pretty elegant roll. You can use an item from your inventory. Okay, right. Open that up. And now we have this. Which comes in handy. Ah! Forgot about these things. Kill it with fire. Oh, <laughs> forced me to drop the explosive when I picked it up. Puttick eggs. Pucknickburgs, a sharp claws breed just for this tasty snack. Walk over to the egg and recharge your energy. 
Okay, yep, so that's a health system. Pretty sure I need one of these, so. Let's head on down. Yep, that's what I thought. You display scales to brought a great evil into the palace. Just need to seek around corners by holding down L and moving them to side step. Yep, okay, there's a new explosive. Now what did I end up getting this time? Doom dang pod. Delicious fruit found only on dinosaur planet. You'll find them in sharp claw baskets and crates. Or hanging dumb trees. Even baddies will sometimes drop them. Okay. Right, trial by fire. Oh, crud, that's right, I need another explosive. For the wall at the end. Right, I need to find its respawn point. Which I believe is around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> This way and don't get hit by fire. It's the last thing I need at this point. <laughs> ah! That's what happens when you get hit by fire. Don't let that happen. Alright, yeah, so if I remember correctly I could pick you up and then Okay. <laughs> Keo Krizoa! Doot Uwe Kutsak! Keo Uhu Tudwo! Nos ak Uwe Keo Krod Keo Tashkuf Shoduk! Neo no no ho Ukusbat! I shall do cut for Kutsak! No no who. Alright, so he's the one who sent out the distress signal. Kill King Earthwalker shot each game. Uh, yeah, I know that info already. Suzo, could see Mo if Kill Krizoa. Kill Krizoa, oh, Fuso Fahaj, Fenovic Rodu. Hmm. All right, so they hold a great amount of importance. Durr. Naki Kill Fahaj. A kudok ash too. Ash could so Jimmo cared at so tay. Mo wack at kokio fiho if could soak. So take the test. Oh gosh. Ut kokio chriso a shrine. All right, so we head to the shrine. Sev kuko keep perhaps coach. Thank you, Info Basket. Yeah, well, you're obviously dying. But, okay, I'll go ahead and finish off this guy's will shit. Alrighty. And teleportation, because fuck you. <laughs> Alrighty, so now I gotta complete this challenge and see if I can get through this intro within, you know, five minutes or less. And if the wrong hands could bring terror, okay. But in the right hand, spirits can bring peace. And there are six spirits to find and return to Krizoa Palace. If you can find the spirit within the shrine and complete its test, then it will be yours. Okay. Now, one of the things that I do know about these shrines is that they are all laid out exactly the same. Now, they might sometimes have different traps and puzzles, but most of the time they're all laid out the same. that. Uh. 
Ow. Fuck you. Alright, come back here on your patrol douchebag and die. And thus the gate now opens. Okay then, let's talk, Kurzoa. Ugh, you freaky son of a bitch. Test of observation. Watch closely where I hide. When the urns stop moving, you must show me which urn I have hidden in. Find me three times in a row, and I will be yours to return to Kurzoa Palace. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright, so he's hiding in there. So, it should be in this one. Ta-da! Alright, going into the top. Right. Right. Did not move. Did not move. Left. Right. Alrighty. Can you at least make this a bit more challenging, dirtbag? Okay, hidden to the same one. So then, got the first Krizoa spirit, or remain in your body until you take it to the Krizoa palace, where it must be released. Safe from harm, okay. Alrighty. Now then, this timer's almost out, but I know the intro goes on for a while longer. So, I'm debating on whether or not to continue it or not. Right, can't go that way. Have to go this way. Jeez, that's a bit freaky. I wonder who built all this stuff. Oh, oh. <laughs> great. Timer goes off second when uh, we're in the middle of a cutscene. Go figure, right? Hmm. Oh, like I said, though, this intro does go on for a while longer, so I think we can go ahead and ride the intro out, and then from there... Uh, we'll be able to continue uh, on another time, or unless, of course, you guys want to vote on another game. Uh, more details on that at the end of the video. Except I already gave the details at the beginning of the video. Well, okay, I'll remind you the details at the end of the video, basically. Yeah, so now she's trapped in there. We have a Krizoa flying around. Yada yada. 
Lost Corner of the Lilac System. Oh, great. And Slippy. Should be it, Rob. Go it. And Rob has a vastly different design. Affirmative. I'll get back to work. Hey, Fox! Isn't this music getting on your nerves? I'm trying to work on my maps. <laughs> and Coolio Bad Boy. Old timer. Turn it down, Slippy. Me, baby. Dude, don't go knocking down on the jet box. It's General Pepper. No. Oh. General Pepper here. I have a new mission for you, Fox. You are approaching Dinosaur Planet, an ancient world on the edge of the Lilac system. As you will see, chunks of the planet have been torn from its surface. It's your job to get them back. If Dinosaur Planet explodes, it could affect the entire Lilac system. The only lead we have is that you must locate the Queen of the Earthwalker Dinosaur Tribe. Hmm. Maybe she can help you further. By the way, your fee has been approved. If you are successful, then the money will be forwarded to you immediately. Pepper out. You heard the general. Let's do it. Huh. Okay then. Yep, so I have to head into Dinosaur Planet. Your mission takes place on Thorntail Hollow. Locate the Queen of the Earthwalker Tribe. She will help you further. Pepper out. Alrighty. Fly through one door ring to reach Dinosaur Planet. Hmm. So we do still have these flying segments, however. There's not really all that much battling you do. Unlike in some of the other Star Fox games where it's all about the space movement and space battles. Instead, though, there is sometimes ships that pop up. And, whoa, son of a bitch. Okay. Of course it is. crap about the mines, I'm mostly worried about these assholes. Okay, thus we are now landed onto the planet. Great flying, Fox! For a moment I thought you weren't gonna make it! Very funny, sir. I know! Now, on to business! By pressing the start button, you will open your communicator. Choose who you wish to speak to, and then press the A button to contact one of us. Hmm. Each team member will give you different information. It's not being tested in action, so give it a try as soon as I finish. And don't forget, you're looking for the Queen Earthwalker. Hmm. Try talking to those Thorntail guys. Slippy is preparing a translator device, but until it's ready, he'll translate for you. Since when is Slippy fluent in multiple languages? Why couldn't I bring my blaster? It's always the same with you, Fox. Shoot first, ask questions later. This mission is about saving the planet, not blowing it up. 
It requires a different tactic. Try using your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny, sir. Fox out. Alrighty. Yep. So we gotta hit start. Save. And with that, I think we'll be done here for now. So, let's go ahead and move on down over to the end credit. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, make sure to hit that little tiny bell on the side so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. I try to upload a video once a week. Now then, bit of updates. Some of you may have noticed I tried uploading a video before and well it just didn't work whatsoever i was super po'd about it because bandai visual kept on uh doing copyright claims on it even though i put the video in a hud so that wouldn't happen um i tried arguing with youtube about it however i am a small channel so uh they didn't help me out with that situation which really ticks me off but unfortunately i'll never be able to get that video up uh and i don't know what to do i still got the mp4 files for it so if i become bigger uh, later on and if the video is still relevant I can try to upload it again but I'm not going to be going down that road anytime soon. Um, other than that of course this is one of the two new series that I am working on and of course I'm trying to bring the other series I am trying to bring back from a previous concept that was executed poorly however I got a couple of new techniques that I'm going to be applying to that so be on the lookout for that soon and like I said before hit that bell if you're already subscribed or if you're just subscribing so that you can go ahead and see when I upload that because I'm really excited for it and it took me forever I've been working on it for a month so it should be pretty damn good um, other than that uh, make sure to head down to the comment section below and let me know whether or not you want to see more gameplay of Star Fox Adventure or if I should start up a new game from somewhere else in my collection other than that, I think we're done. So, until next time, this is T-Man 91 signing out.